Welcome to my home and welcome to my channel. This is me, Christoph Key, laughing through life, single, gay, and sober. It's been a while since my last video, and I think it's about time that I fill you in on what's going on in my life. First things first, I am now officially two years sober from drugs and alcohol. I have no idea how it's already been two years, but the changes that have happened to my life are absolutely humongous. I just got some huge news and I want to share it with you today. If you follow my videos, then you definitely know that I'm currently in the process of moving to San Diego. I just got back from a five day trip, maybe about three days ago, and let me tell you, it was horrible. Trying to find an apartment in this market in San Diego is nearly impossible. I saw beautiful homes in scary, shitty neighborhoods, and also the smallest tiny closets in wonderful neighborhoods. I was even considering living in a home that didn't have a stove. But let me rewind a little bit and break it down. So I've been preparing for this move to San Diego for over a year. It seems like every single door has opened up for me, not just open, but just flown open for me. And I cannot deny the signs. I saved money for an entire year. I have an amazing support system there. And I even found the perfect job for me. When it came to finding an apartment, I thought I would be fine. I'm not a felon, I've never been evicted, and I had saved money for an entire year. I wanted to stay under two grand a month and be somewhat close to my job. The only thing that I had going against me was that I don't have any credit. I'm not in debt, but I don't have any credit. Something now that I'm working on. But I thought, hey, you know, my higher power's got that, let's keep going forward. I book a very expensive plane ticket to San Diego for five days on the 4th of July in hopes to lock down a lease. I'm focused, I'm determined, and I've got an amazing team helping me. I drove around that city for five days straight, hyper-focused, jumping in and out of hoops all across town to continuously be told no and that I'm not good enough. Now, I'm a positive person, but there's only so much a positive person can take continuously. Not good enough. I mean, I've worked on myself for quite some time now, and I love who I am. How can not having any credit evaluate into not being good enough? On my very last day in town, I still had a couple applications to put in, but I definitely didn't have any high hopes. I was definitely starting to get discouraged. I wasn't gonna give up, just discouragement was starting to creep in. My AA home group and a friend told me to find a meeting to go to. I found a gay meeting in Hillcrest and I just showed up. Maybe someone there could help me and I was gonna put in the action. It was a larger meeting of about 60 to 50 people and they actually had a break in between. In the middle of that break, a guy came up to me and we started up small talk. I told him my situation to which his reply was, he was a property manager. He told me that he would absolutely be able to help me and that he even owned a property that he was expecting to rent out at the end of August. So you're telling me all I had to do was go to an AA meeting and be like, hey guys, I need some help finding an apartment. Apparently it was seeming that way. I was taught a super valuable lesson and it's that we need to lean on our community in times of stress and need. There has to be a million other alcoholics who have been in my position before once in their life. I'm not a bad person. I am good enough, and I just needed someone to give me a chance. But the story doesn't end there. This morning I received an email from a leasing company that said that they received my application, they reviewed it, and they would like to follow through with the lease. It's a beautiful one bedroom apartment with hardwood floors. I've seen it in person. There's a pool, on-site laundry, every single thing that I wanted and needed. I wasn't the first in line for this apartment. It was offered to someone else and they went with another location and then it was offered to me. I got this apartment on my own with no co-signer. It's a little bit further away from my job than I'd like, but that doesn't matter. As of today, I've officially signed a lease for San Diego, California. It's definitely still sinking in. Holding on to your faith in the middle of uncertainty is not an easy thing to do. My key tool was constant surrender. I am not in control of this boat that I'm rowing. What I often say about this journey is this. God has brought me this far 
why would he just stop providing for me now? Kind of like, thanks for taking me this far, God. I got it the rest of the way. Why do we do these things to ourselves? I just want to let you guys know that your dreams are possible. Today is a really big day for me. I never imagined that I would be in this position. I'm about to start my life all over again in a new city. Well, I guess I forgot a quote for this video, huh? The quote for this topic of completion is this. It's faster to be patient. I promise to be more consistent on taking you along with me on this journey. Thanks for watching. Hang in there. This is me, Christoph Key. Do you like me? Then make sure to like and subscribe for more videos.